whole FCAT crew. We have uh, Kevin Murphy, Al Geckel, Josh Levine, and uh, Cheryl Moreau. And uh, we have a great game ahead of us as it's going to be uh, the Frontier Red Hawks versus the uh, Pioneer Panthers. And it looks like we have Olivia Dean pitching for uh, Frontier. Uh, and the batter will be Charlotte Collar, who's the first baseman for Pioneer. And the game is now underway. And Bond, and she pulls it back, so count. Looks like it will be an, oh, nope, one and oh. That one's a strike low. Yeah, that was a pretty low strike there. Should get an aim on that. Yeah, that was perfect, perfect position. Yeah. Foul ball our way. First baseman can make the play in play. So, uh, and that will be one out of the game. Good way to start the game if you're frontier. That was a great catch by first baseman Jillian Appenell. Yeah, in Frontier, I feel like they're, uh, as they've gotten some players back, they had that little rough patch mm -hmm. on a three-game losing streak. But Yeah, they bounced back pretty fast. They're looking, they're looking pretty good today. Well, <laughs> on defense anyways. So far. We'll just have to wait and see. Foul ball. A little late on the pitch. It came our way. And the batter will be uh, Haley Hogley, the uh, center fielder for Pioneer. So uh, that count is 2-0. Love you. Pitches, it's back to the catcher, and it's a foul ball. Good play by uh, CeCe Green. So Pioneer, as uh, they're going to face uh, Frontier's ace, I'm uh, pretty sure. Yeah. That one's a little low in the dirt. Yeah, pitcher Olivia Dean's doing a really good job staying in there. And strike three, strike swinging. Three. So quick two outs for Frontier. We'll see if they can uh, strike out the side or uh, get the side out. Uh, and the batter will be uh, Ken's Kenzie Gibson, the uh, catcher. The defense starting off really well for Frontier. And it looked like uh, on that play... Kenzie was uh, eyeing down the pitcher. Mm. And Olivia just drove it in there. Yep. Yeah, our defense is off to a really great start. Jinxed them. <laughs> oh. So uh, that one was in the dirt, in a way. So I think the count is either 2-1 uh, and one or 1-1. One and one. I think it's one and one. Wow. I was actually looking uh, at uh, some fact that uh, I saw something online, and it looks like softball is actually harder than baseball. Really? Yeah. Because you would think that ba everyone thinks that baseball is harder. Yeah, because it's a smaller ball, so it'd be smart, like harder to hit. It's oh. actually the bigger ball that if there's something mechanics, I don't it's know. It's weird. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Fun fact by Tom Elber. <laughs> <laughs> so the batter... Uh, Here comes two and two now. Ooh. And that one's hit up the middle. Right to Macy Ring. And that will end the inning. So they go... Frontier goes one, two, three. And um, great... Great all-around inning for uh, Frontier, their defense. Good way to start the game.
So uh, we'll be right back. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrow Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. All right, and welcome back um, to South Deerfield. We have the batter will be to start off for the Red Hawks, uh, CC Green, the catcher for Frontier. She's number 12. So she's uh, a little ahead of it as that one hits, bounces off the shed. Yeah, it's good she made contact on the first pitch, though. Yeah, that shows they come out swinging. So the count's 0-1-1. Pitcher. That one's a little low. Great eye there by uh, mm -hmm. CeCe. Count's 1-1. One one. One's a little low. Towards, uh, I was throwing more towards um, green. Yeah, that was a little higher than the last one. So that was a good eye. Three straight balls. Oh. So the count is... Uh, Three and one. So good hitters count, or she's going to lay off unless it's mm -hmm. a good pitch down the middle. Oh. And that one's Central a fly right ball. And even with the sun, it was a great catch by... Uh, Avery Johnson for uh, Pioneer. Yeah, she doesn't even have sunglasses. <laughs> What'd she see? <laughs> yeah, I think she used uh, the glove. Mm. That's oh, one that's smart. To block the sun. That's that's one thing I learned uh, playing mm. baseball. So now the batter is uh, number 21, Macy Ring. She's uh, definitely a powerhouse hitter for Frontier. Oh, yeah. She's got a very strong swing. Oh, she was swinging for the fence on that one. She makes contact. <laughs> the thing's flying. Yeah, the thing's <laughs> going over the fence. <laughs> so, count is 1-0? Uh, or 0-1? 1-1. Oh, and that one is a high fly ball to left field, and that one's caught. So good, two great uh, contact swings by uh, Frontier so far. Yeah. So now the batter is uh, number seven, Lucia Dillette. Um We'll see if she can get a two-out rally going. She's a freshman, too. And batting in the three-hole. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Ooh. Foul ball into the trees. Yeah, so one thing I will say is that uh, both teams, their pitchers, and we're towards the end of the season and we're getting closer to the playoffs, the pitching has definitely improved. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you mean the same thing for the baseball team, too. Yeah. So uh, a good cut there. I think she pulled her head. Yeah. Or it's a nice pitch by uh, the pitcher for uh, Pioneer. Mm. Sophia Holden. And she strikes out swinging. So that will end the inning. Frontier going, yeah, Frontier going one, two, three. And same with Pioneer. So uh, we'll see you in a couple. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. 
Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. So, uh, welcome back to uh, South Deerfield. Uh, quick, really quick first inning. So now, <laughs> we have, um, I think that was a ball there. So the count is 1-0, uh, oh, but uh, I'm your host, uh, Tom Albert, joined with co-host uh, Mili Sobieski and the whole FCAT crew. Good swing. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, but a very quick first inning. Yeah. Usually it doesn't go one, two, three. Yeah. So I think this is one is this is gonna be a close game. Oh my god. Counts two and one. Good hitters count here. Mm. And the batter is uh Sophia Holden, the pitcher. So it's pitcher versus pitcher. Mono y mono. What? Mono y mono. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> Never heard that, but nice. <laughs> it's like one versus one. Okay. <laughs> and that, wow. So, way to battle back for Olivia Dean. Pitching is starting really off strong for both teams. Yeah, and even with the heat. Yeah. I'm kind of. Pants on? Oh, gosh. I'm hot in shorts. <laughs> That one's low in the dirt, so she'll take uh, take her base. First batter on the bases of the game. So uh, Sophia Holden, we'll see if she, um, after one or two pitches, see if she steals, except for... Mm. She CC. looks like she wants to. Yeah, and Sophia's got a... Or not Sophia. Uh, CeCe's got an arm. Oh, yeah. Fun back to the third baseman. Charlotte will make the play and a good scoop by uh, Michaela. And honestly, a great play there. Um, heads up play because, yeah. as you saw, Macy Ring ran over to cover third so the yeah. runner couldn't advance. I mean, even though they got oh. it at first, it still advanced that first baseman, or the first the run on first to second. That's really what they want. Yeah, and I'm, I'm surprised. I thought... Uh, oh, well she's, she's yeah, safe. Yeah, I, I thought she was out. Oh, well, that worked really well in their favor. Yeah. Usually when you bunt, you're sacrificing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that was a great play. I think Oh, I think, I think Garrett Dean will, or Mr. Dean oh. will. I guess there's a little confusion. Maybe he'll uh, challenge the play. And maybe there's yeah, that was a close call, but it seems like she'll be safe. From our angle, and we're right here. Yeah. It, it looked like they were out. Yeah. And it was a good scoop, too. Yeah. And Michaela Santos, second baseman, she brought the ball. The runner on second was about to go to third, and she brought it in, which stopped her, which was really smart. Another bunt, but it was fouled, mm -hmm. tipped. So you got to think there's the same play here. Mm -hmm. And I think so the count is 0-1, uh, and, and the batter is... Um, the better is the shortstop. So now there's two strikes on her, though, as she uh, missed that bunting opportunity. I wonder if she'll try to bunt again. You know, I did see the other day uh, in softball, the one of the last games I'd commentated, they bunted with two outs. Oh. You don't normally see that. No. Oh. It's a risky play. I the strategy they're trying to use. Oh, and there's advance both runners. All right, so now there's two guys in scoring position for Pioneer with no outs. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, the inning no was, yeah. Clinton was let off with a walk by uh, Sophia Holden. Ooh. Ooh. That was a clutch pitch by Olivia Dean. Definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like there's one out. Runner on second and and third. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, they called it safe. <laughs> and Charlotte was not happy about that bullet call. Charlotte definitely thought she was out. Yeah. That was a great throw by Cece, the catcher from Frontier. That was a really fast reaction. And if you're Frontier, you want to stay calm that and collective. Close. It was close. And I think... By the expression on Charlotte's face, definitely close. <laughs> Ooh, Close swing. Great play heads up there by uh, Olivia Dean to cover home. Yeah. It's one thing I will notice about softball with the field is there, there's a lot more dust. Like really? Especially with the, I mean. Huh. I wonder if, oh, I don't know. Well, it's also because uh, there's no pitcher's mound. Oh, yet. yes. And it's also mostly dirt and baseball fields of grass in the middle. That's definitely why. Yeah, and some, even like uh, Greenfield's mm -hmm. baseball field, they have uh, grass mm -hmm. down the first and third uh, baseline. Oh. So There was one school I played at back in my days playing softball where the, it was kind of like a baseball field, but the, no, it was softball field, and but it was like gravel. We were playing on rocks. That's it, was, it was Greenfield, yeah. <laughs> oh, strike. Yeah, I w we were playing on rocks, and I'm like, how are we... I was like... What the heck is that? <laughs> but, you know, we, that was fine. Did you win, though? You know, I don't think we did. <laughs> I can't remember. It was like five years ago. Nah, you won. It just sounds better. Yeah, okay. Plus, especially beating Greenfield. Yeah. Who doesn't love beating Greenfield? Hmm. Especially with track. Anywho, um, <laughs> back to the game. <laughs> oh, so I think stop. so. She'll take her base, and the batter actually was um, thirty-two. Uh, Avery Johnson, the right fielder, who made a catch in the first inning for Pioneer. So there's one out. The bases are juiced, and Frontier. There's two very could have gone either way calls. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In the setting. Two very critical plays that would have really helped Frontier but not called in their favor. Sometimes that happens, but I think Frontier is a pretty strong team and they can push back. Yeah, and we'll see if and there's uh, plenty more innings to go, so definitely. Well that was a good scoop there by yeah. uh C C <laughs> Um I think uh he needs to take a deep breath and just yeah. focus in here because, you know, having those runners around the bases is, uh, well, that's a, looks like it could drop. Nope. Ooh. It was a great catch there by right fielder, and they're going to go wave him home. And that was, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Whew. All right. <laughs> a lot of action there. Holy cow. That was a great catch by left fielder, Lucia Dulette. She threw it in quickly in. Yeah. To get that out at home, but a good sacrifice first. RBI. Yeah. Um, and if there was two outs, which I feel like there should have been on that bunt. Mm, yeah. But uh. One out now. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, two outs. Two outs. Because uh, right. there's also a strikeout in the inning. Yep. That's a nice pitch. Right down the middle. If they can get this out, and so they only let one run in. Yeah, and that's. That's pretty good. I think it would. Loaded. It might be an unearned run. Or actually, no. It will be an earned run because it was a walk. Yeah, yeah. But I think there would be an error called on the uh, third or first mm -hmm. baseman on that play. I don't know. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> I think she was out. Just my opinion. I think I agree. Not biased or anything. Yeah, no, totally not. Not like we graduated from Frontier or anything. No. Three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> See if uh, Livy Dean can... Uh, whew, that was great out. Yeah, great way to finish the inning as uh, 
Pioneer now leading after the top of the second inning. Uh, one nothing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Tom Alber joined with uh, Amelia Sobieski. A uh, whole bunch of the AFCAT crew. And we'll see if Charlotte Dulette can get something going for Frontier. Definitely one of their power hitters. And so apparently we talked about it in the first inning, but Tom had mentioned that softball is actually harder than baseball. And I thought it was because the ball was smaller, or baseball is smaller, but it's actually because the distance between the pitcher's mound and home plate is shorter. So the hitters have a shorter amount of time to react, which I did not know. I thought it was because of the ball, but... Yeah, and you'd have to thank uh, Cheryl for that. Yeah. She, uh, she has. What? She has with the facts. I was, I'd never thought about that. I knew it was shorter, but I thought since the pitch was slower, it was like kind of the same, but it's so much shorter that it actually makes a difference. The one thing I wonder is if once you go up a level from high school, is it does it go to fifty seventy? You know, like fifty yeah, feet know. the bases. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. Because. Uh, Um, anyways, <laughs> great, great eye there by Charlotte Dillette. That one was high and away. Check your count is two and one, two and two. Oh, oh that one could be gone. I don't know though. Oh, that was a great catch by there by, uh, Pioneer center fielder, number four, Haley Hahi. So now up to bat. He's batting uh, in the five hole, uh, Olivia Dean. So uh, there's one out. Holmes goes into the dugout. And one thing I will, will notice with Frontiers, they're... They're swinging for the fences. Mm, oh, yeah. I mean, three, three flyouts or in the first or... Well, no, two flyouts and a strikeout. Well, that one's up. Could be in play. Oh, oh. missed by inches. Yeah. It was a great effort by first baseman from Pioneer. I would have almost let the, uh, the catcher try to make a play there because yeah. they're used to that, but... You know, that was... A, a I mean, they also have more gear on, so it's kind of harder for them to... That's definitely... Yeah, that's true. First baseman can kind of see it clear, too, but, you know, either way. Could go either way. Yeah, I mean, they were both right there. Yeah. Oh. She's staying alive. Blow the, blow the ball. So, uh, again, just to recap the first inning, um, it was one, one, two, three, one, two, three, both teams, um, and then... Top of the second. We're still in the bo we're bottom half of the second. And that's a, looks like a blooper. Oh! What a catch. What a catch there by uh, first baseman for Pioneer. Um, number 17, uh, Charlotte Collar. That was an in the air catch, airborne catch. Yeah, I think she kind of made the catch on one foot. Yeah. Looked like that, anyhow. Great out. And, uh, so now, oh, it looks like um, number uh, 15 for Frontier in the batting number six. Delaney Fifield. We will. Uh, so I think one thing uh, which is interesting. And it's different for baseball and softball. Is baseball you throw overhand and mm -hmm. softball you throw underhand. Yeah. Which baseball and softball are kind of completely different sports in that aspect. Yeah. Ooh. That was a great cut there and a, another great pitch. That's 0-2 now. And uh, Pioneer really coming out strong with good defense. Yeah. Like, I'll say, they made a couple great plays. Yeah, they definitely did. Ooh, that was high. 
So uh, strike, strike, out. strike out to end the inning. And um, after two innings, Pioneer leading one nothing. So I'm just keeping track of hits? Yeah. Okay. Basically. You know, who's, who's that? And then if they get like a, an RBI or something, you write okay. that to the person who hit the RBI. All right. And we don't care about runs. Okay, cool. RBIs, home runs. All right. Hi, and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community, Community Access Television. I am your uh, host, Tom Albert, joined with Amelia Sobieski. And that was a quick pl play. And a great play there by uh, number eight. Kayla Santos. Kayla Santos. So good way to start the inning if you're Frontier. Yeah. And very quick. Uh, as that ball was a little high. Yeah. Very clean out. And now uh, the batter is... Um, Oh, whoa! Diving catch from Macy Ring. What a play there by Macy Ring. Short stop. That was an amazing catch. Yeah, that was a spectacular catch by uh, shortstop Macy Ring, and I think they're glad to have her back. Oh, yeah. Struck by Livy Dean. And uh, the batter is uh, the catcher, number 11, uh, Kenzie Gibson for Pioneer. As uh, Haley. Hahi. Uh, well, and Macy Ring made that diving play. Mm -hmm. So two quick, two very quick outs oh and yeah. efficient. That's what, that's what we want on a hot day if you're the defense. And oh, yeah. And one thing you will have to look at is, as so far, uh, Pioneer. Oh, and that one is a long fly ball. Right center field. Delaney Fifield will make the catch to end the inning. And Frontier, spectacular top of the third inning. And they go one, two, three, just like the first. So uh, we'll see you in a couple. So, hi, and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. A bunt to start the inning. We'll see if they can make the play. Speed. Ooh. And they what a what a great play there by uh, Frontier. Number 18. Ashley Taylor. So that was a great heads-up play yeah. to bunt straight off the bat. It was awesome. Way to run it out, too. And one thing I will also say about softball that's different from baseball is it's a much more efficient and quick game. Yeah. Like, baseball takes hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, they're, they, they're trying to make it a shorter game, which I don't like. You oh. know. And oh, Ashley Taylor takes second. off the second. Oh. It's overthrown. It goes to the outfield. But, uh, good. Great base running. Yeah. So, she's speedy. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, she's advancing very quickly. Which is critical because Frontier's down 1 0. Looks 
swing and a miss. Look up for front twos. Number 16, Jillian Apinow. Another strike, foul ball sent off to the trees. A little inside, it'll be a ball. A good eye. Another ball. I think her count now is three and two. Really comes down to this last pitch here. Pitch is doing really well staying in there. It's going to be low and it's going to be a walk. I count three to two. That's pretty good. So Jillian Appenau will get on first. We have Ashley Taylor for Frontier on second. So Frontier finally has some players on bases, which is really good. Yeah, Frontier has something brewing here. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, They're fired up. Top, top of the third. And this is really interesting because you had that second inning, you know, mm. controversial call. And a bond shown. She bonds. Awesome. Oh, and she fumbles. Can't make the play. Oh, safe. Yep. She's safe. Yeah. So oh, what a awesome. So two bunts in this inning. Yeah. Because Ashley Taylor bunt and then stole, yeah. and then uh, Jillian Appenel yeah. walked, and Michaela just bunted and got on. Yeah. So now the bases are juiced for number that twelve. CC Green, top of the order. Perfect. Bases loaded. Top batter. No outs. No outs. That was awesome. First part of the inning. And oh, here's the ball. Oh. I couldn't see it. The tent was over me. It almost uh, hit a fan there. <laughs> <laughs> At least we aren't where baseball is over near the cars. Oh my gosh. My car, was, ball. my car was hit. Oh. Baseball. It's a big side and a big dent in the side of it. <laughs> Um, pitch, short stop. Oh, what a play! Oh, good catch. Oh, no, oh Ashley Taylor uh, paused there, but hey, it's over hey, the hey. throne. So that will be an RBI yeah. fly out? Sacrifice, sack fly. Yeah. So so now the score yeah, it's is an RBI. One one. It's an RBI on an air. So that's a huge heads up play there yeah. uh, by Frontier. And but they still have runners on second and third and only one out. So you really have to thank uh, Ashley Taylor who started that inning yeah. and she just scored. She yeah. just scored a run. So now the game's tied 1-1 with two guys in scoring position for Frontier. And now up to bat, who's looking like... Macy Ring. Yep. Who, oh. oh I think I get hit her. Yeah. Oh, She's swinging for the fences, I can tell. Or contact. Yeah, Frontier's in a really good position here. We just got to make some contact. Yeah. Yeah, because their base running's been really well so far, so. Think line drive. A little uh, high. Good eye there. Mm. And one thing, she had that diving catch? Yeah, she did at shortstop over there. Defensively. So they're all over. <laughs> Frontier with a huge opportunity here. That one's... High fly ball. Can the catcher make the play? Ooh. No. Nope. You close. think? Yeah, definitely close play. And that is probably one of the hardest things about softball and baseball. Yeah. Catching, I will say. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, it's hard on your knees, I've heard. Yeah. Dylan Martin, uh, who played uh, summer baseball for me, for our team, had two had to have two knee surgeries. Really? Two? Yep. Hmm. And he was our catcher. For what? Um... Meniscus tear. And it looks like, oh, jo uh oh, there could be a pickle. Nope. No. Oh, she goes back. She says, nope. <laughs> she, <laughs> that was a. <laughs> That's too close. <laughs> too close. Either you got to fully commit on going yeah. home or you go back. Because that was a good, honestly, a great play, though, um, yeah. by the catcher. As it is, it's a short backstop back there. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's one thing I do not know. Um, but I, I bet it's probably as close as you can get to regulation. Yeah. Whereas some schools like uh, Mohawk. Miles long. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Really Feels like it. Exactly. Mohawk, so there's like 30 feet, I swear. Yeah. Sarcasm. But <laughs> yeah. Ground ball hard hit oh. up the middle. Or up the left In side. Left field. Yeah. And two runs will score. So now Frontier. Wow. And wow, what a heads up play. She just made it to second. Look at that. That was a lot of action there. They got two runs and great ground ball by Lacey Ring. Yep. And that was a hard hit ball. Yeah, right to left field. And usually you can make that play if you're a shortstop or third mm -hmm. baseman, but that was a hard hit. It was hit. right in the middle of shortstop and third. Exactly. And it was. It's pretty hard, too. Yeah. I don't know if I would have made that play. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Macy Ring was able to get to second. Yeah, great heads up base running. Yeah, we'll say she was like halfway to yeah. second. Yeah, it was close. And now it's a up and then it's gonna high fly ball. It will roll foul and out of play. Up to bat is number seven, Lucia Doulette, left fielder for Frontier. And she's in the three hole, and right behind her is uh, Charlotte, yeah. her, uh, her sister. sister. Drive to second baseman. I almost thought that ended the inning, but that was a. <laughs> There's two outs now. And now up to bat, you have uh, number 13, Charlotte Delant. With the man in scoring position. This is a great out by number two, Haley Pelletier for Pioneer. Line drive right to her. She got it. That was a ball. Up to bat is number 13, Charlotte Delant. Looks like her count was one and oh. And Macy will st steal third easily. And now Charlotte really needs to think yeah. line drive or ground ball. Yeah. Maybe even home run. That's best option. Mm. And she can definitely hit it over the oh, yeah. fences. She's done it before. Ooh. She wants that one back. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Hopefully she locks in here. Oh, yeah. And hey, you got to thank uh, Pioneer's pitcher as she went 1 yeah. 2 3, 1 2 3. Yeah. And then this long third inning. Oh, and that one might stay fair, but mm -hmm. a good. Play by uh, the uh, first baseman. She had a good play in the last inning, too. So, uh, Frontier now, with this great third inning, they will lead 3 to 1. And uh, we will see you guys in a couple. All right, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. It's a great day for a softball game here. You got Frontier versus Pioneer. Uh, Frontier leads 3 to 1. Power hit to Left field. Wow. Great catch by Lucy Doulette. This is her second catch of the day. It's been really well. Yeah, and that was good sportsmanship yeah. over there. Uh, as both of them, you know, they were, they were both right there. Yeah. It was in between both of them. And they just, yeah, I uh, think center fielder is supposed to back up the left fielder just in case she under, undercuts it. So, uh, oh. A little swing. Yeah, I, I would have called time on that one. Yeah. There's a little bit of a low pitch there. Um, and the batter will be number eight, Kelly Baird. Baird? Bard? No. Oh, and it's a softball. Looks like it's It's going to. Owl. Yeah. Looks like her count will be 
0 and 2. Um, Olivia Dean is looking good in this yeah, third inning. Yeah, she's doing really well this game. That rough, That's that rough well. second inning, other than that. Yeah. I mean, solid. you're going to have rough innings every game, but she's able to pull back from it, so that's really important. Yeah. So pitcher kind of runs the show in the game, so it's really important. If the pitcher's doing well, kind of puts it all together. Especially with two good teams. Yeah. Well, and that's... Oh! oh! That was close. Gr amazing effort. Yeah, that was really good effort. As I think it popped in and out of her glove. Yeah, and the one thing I will say, when I, the ball off the bat... Um, mm -hmm. It was almost like it was a little. Yeah. It was a chop. Yeah. And she yeah, she didn't swing fully. I think she was a little late, so she con made contact with the ball a little late. Great effort, though. Yeah. And I think uh, definitely once again, Frontier is glad to have their shortstop back. Oh yeah. They could turn two here. Two up? No. Oh, close though. At least they got the out of second. Yeah. Get make sure to get that lead running. That was a hard ground ball to third baseman Charlotte Dulat, who got it quickly to second. So that was good play by her. And they got uh, two outs, so let's see if they can get this third one with the no damage done. Their seniors are doing really well today. We got Olivia Dean pitching, Charlotte Dulet on third, Macy Ring on second. I think other than that, it's... Mm. Uh, it's all playing right now. You got freshmen, yeah. eighth graders, and I don't know yeah. if... Outfield is... Pretty much, they have a young outfield. Yeah, middle school and freshman the outfield so they're set for next year yeah not a worry that's I mean they're definitely losing key players but I mean yeah you're losing your shortstop third baseman yeah. and a good and pitcher they're all very strong players yeah. but and some uh, good bench players too oh yeah definitely it's always a good feeling going on next season oh it's a good strike a little inside but yeah so honestly with that uh, second inning and once again I'll go back to it uh there was that, that controversial call. Mm. But uh, they called them safe at first on a bunt. So. Foul ball tip. And one thing one thing I will say is that we c I could have had it wrong too. Um, but we're around the first base side, so. Oh, yeah. And we're, we, you know. Yeah. But also Ty goes to the runner. Yeah. So the batter is uh, number 32, Avery Johnson. Ooh. Strike three. That'll be three quick outs for Frontier. So Frontier going one, two, three. Uh, that second inning, a little, little rough. Um, they got well, front Pioneer scored one run in that inning, and yeah. then in the third inning, one, two, three. So uh, we will go to the top of the fourth. Frontier lead, or no, bottom of the third. <laughs> Wait, no. Is it the fourth or? It's three to one. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. FCAT game. We got Frontier versus Pioneer. It'll be the bottom of the fourth inning. Up to bat is number nine, Olivia Dean for Frontier. She's a pitcher. And the count is now one and oh. All right. Strong swing and a miss. Count is now one and one. See if Olivia Dean can do something here. It'll be high again. The count will be two and one. It's a good eye. She looks locked in. Oh yeah. Hard hit oh, ball. Hard to shortstop. She'll run it out. And almost a good catch there by uh, the first baseman. Oh, right. She'll be safe. And now up to bat, you have uh, number 15, an eighth grader for Frontier, um, Delaney. Delaney Fifield. Fifield. So Olivia Dean, great way to start the inning. Yeah. Um, the runner on first is always a great way to start an inning. It looks like they're going to have someone pinch run for uh, Liv Dean 9. Be number six, Savannah Upton. Another senior for Frontier. Yep. And I think you're going to see a lot of seniors be playing um, this week because yeah. it's right before playoffs and they want to give some backup players um, yeah. running 
hitting, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know definitely. Because you want everyone ready to go. Yeah. In case there's injury or something definitely. happens. So you have to think pinch running. So they should bunt. That's one thing I like about uh, softball more is yeah. that there's a lot more bunting. Yeah, Hit definitely. and run yeah. play, whereas um, baseball, there's... I mean, my summer team had... Uh, we did a lot of suicide squeezes, but... Mm. Which those are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Strike. I think that was a strike down there. Either right down the middle or to the left of the play, maybe. the left. I don't know. We're, we're kind of at an angle. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, counts one and one. Savannah may steal here. Who knows? Good lead. Mm. Counts two and one now. So, good hitters count. So, so if it's a ball, she's going to leave it, hopefully. Yeah. Unless, unless it's close. Oh, it looks like she's going to bunt. Pulled it back. Would be another ball. Counts three and one. So now that's even better hitters count. Because yeah. <laughs> the uh, the pitcher has to work their way back. Yeah. That's why a 2-1 is a good hitters count. And 3 one's better. So we'll see if who can win the battle here. Whoa! Line drive to center field. Ground to the fence. Savannah will take third with ease, and Delaney yeah, will get a, a double. double. And that is, that is awesome. Some young talent for Frontier. Yeah. It brought Savannah Upton to third. Off of... Uh, two bases. Yeah, off of Olivia Dean's uh, hit. It was like a... It was almost like a knuckleball. Yeah. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. No, yeah. Now we have a runner on second and third for Frontier. No outs. Oh, and a bunt right away. Oh. Did they make the play? Yeah, they made the play. Oh, and, and it's a double though. Dang. Yeah, she was already at home by then. So I think there, that was that was the squeeze play that yeah. I was talking about earlier. I'm not sure. Because Savannah took off. Yeah, that's I don't think she realized the ball was still in the air. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. When you take off the home and you're on yeah. third base, so great double play there. Yeah, by Pioneer. That was great. So the still front. Oh, a hard hit ball to the shortstop. Oh, a little bobble. And oh, oh. oh. She <laughs> She'll be safe. Oh, and they got a run in Delaney Fifield. Heads up base running. Yeah. That was that was great play. And um, honestly, that was a hard hit ball by uh, yeah. Jillian Appen. Yeah. Right to the shortstop. And she kind of fumbled it a little bit. She, she threw it and it, first baseman it, tried. It bounced off her glove, and she caught it with her other hand, mm -hmm. and then she threw it to first, and it, the the pitcher had to make the play. Yeah. Um, so the double play there, um, that was good. Yeah. Was, yeah. Two outs. Two quick outs. It was. Yeah. It happened really fast. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, some great base running there by uh, and heads up base running. Yeah, definitely. Span Upton. Now we have up to bat number eight, Michaela Santos, a junior for Frontier. We called a strike. We call me 0 and 2. So, Dylan Appen on that first with uh, two outs. So we'll see if uh, Frontier can have fun with two. Mm. And on deck is waiting is number 12, CC Green. That Good one's. Ball. I count on LB. One ball, two strikes. So good pitchers count. Because <laughs> mm. the now the head batter's got to protect on everything, anything close. Ooh. High ball. That one will stay foul. We foul. Now to play. Uh, yeah, she made good contact. She's got to straighten it out a little bit. Count is still one and two. Pioneer has two outs here, so they're... Really trying to get this last out. This Frontier got some runs in. So they're a little head. Ooh, and that was a good eye, definitely. Yeah. She oh, yeah. She was loaded and ready to. Ready to swing. Yeah. So now I think the, full, the count is either two and two or full count. I believe it's two and two because she just fouled the last one. Yep, and that one's a chopper. Will it stay foul? 
Oh, I guess it, it, I guess it hit her, so but it's it, out. Mm. That is an interesting inning. Yeah. So a double play, wow. it hits. I've never seen that. That is yeah. something I've never seen in baseball, or softball, or baseball. And another, like, interesting. Yeah. I guess she hit, she hit the ball in there. It, I think it hit her, her ankle, but I think. All right, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We got Tom Albert here and Amelia Sobieski. And we have great game, Frontier versus Pioneer Softball. Scores now four to one. And we have a first batter up for Pioneer. Can't tell. Uh, yeah, her arm's in the waiver number. Number 20. Laura Collar. Collar? It's like her first be a, he has a ball. So Frontier coming off a big inning, you know. That they had the Pioneer had a double play. And that one's a line drive, a nice Ooh, catch. Nice scoop by mm. number 15, Delaney Fifield in center holy, field. Holy holy cow. Yeah, she really reached for that. That was a good that was a good catch. So huge heads up plays, um, and great catches in this game, both yeah. on both teams. Um a couple by the shortstop and a couple from the outfield for Frontier. And then that double play last inning I was talking about. Um, now it's top of the fifth inning. It's called a strike. So definitely, this is a close game. And yeah. And um, one thing with frontier teams, you never count them out because they were losing one nothing after that second inning. Yeah. And then they they took they had that big third inning. Okay. Maybe strike two on Pioneer Butter. Number two, Haley Pelletier. Ooh. Strike three, swing and a miss. Maybe three strikes. Looks like there's two outs now. <laughs> now we are at the top of the order for Pioneer's batters. We got number 17, Charlotte Collar. First ball. It's called a strike. Yep. So that one, um, that one was right down the middle in the. Yeah. That sometimes it's the best to swing at the first pitch because yeah. it's the best. It's the best pitch you'll see. In yeah. Sometimes, or it's the worst. <laughs> it's always good to swing, get a feel of what's going on. Yeah. Unless it's clearly a ball, then don't bother. But sometimes, if it's a little out of the zone, you know. Yeah. And the dirt ball. I was I was someone who always. Went up to the plate, swinging. Yeah, I would always swing yeah. at the first pitch, unless it was my unless elementary it was school days. I do the same. Ooh, grounded a third. Grounded a third. Lived in nine ducks, and we got third base to first base. Charlotte Dulet to Julian Apinal, great play right there. So that will end the inning, and we'll go to the uh, bottom of the fifth. Yep. Won't end the inning. It will. Carry on, so uh, <laughs> see you in a couple. All right, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Amelia Sobieski joined with Tom Albert, and we are at the bottom of the fifth inning with Frontier leading four to one, I believe. And we got top of the batting order, CC Green, number 12. And we're now on the first pitch. We call a strike. You know, seen really good pitching this whole game, so hopefully the pitchers can keep it up. A swing and looks like it'll be pop out at first. So one thing I will say about this game, as there's a, another great play by a Pioneer, both defenses, yeah, looking very very strong. Yeah, definitely. So you would have to say that will carry on to the uh, postseason. Oh yeah, definitely. It'll only get better. Exactly. Now up to bat, we have second hitter, Macy Ring, number 21. She's short stop for Frontier. She's made some great plays this game. And we have one out. No batters on bases. That will be first call ball. 
Yeah, and one thing with Macy is she's absolutely smothered in that dirt. <laughs> yeah. Because she made some excellent diving Dive, plays, yeah. and then that one diving play that was it went in and out of her glove. Yeah. So that's one thing. That's another thing with the the bigger ball. Yeah. Um. Because maybe there's more of that in softball. I don't. I don't know. Right, it'll be a. Count is now two two. Yeah, and one thing about um, both both pitchers, uh, number three, uh, Sophia Holden and Olivia Dean, both of them, even with the heat, yeah, they are playing extremely well. Definitely, the whole team. Yeah, I don't know how they're. But it's very hard. Oh. Maybe a swing and a miss. I thought that was strike. Oh, now strike. it's two two. I thought <laughs> there was two, but I, I, th I also thought it was strike three. I think we're a little behind over here. A little bit. Blame it on the sun. Oh, it is hot out. So we'll see. Macy can lock in here with two strikes on her. She kind of looks locked in. Oof. A little late. She kind of she she decided a little late on that yeah, one, but she, she she could tell right after she swung it was. Yeah, she um she chopped at it. Yeah. You now don't yeah. Now you don't know see it. Now it's two outs up to bat is number seven Lucia Dulet. She's Frontiers. Left fielder. She's a freshman. She's doing really good this season. Yeah, freshman in the three hole. Oh yeah, that's uh, impressive. Oh, and wow. speaking of that, over. that could go over the fences, and, and it does. Run. Freshman number seven, Lucia Juliet, home run, first pitch. Whew. That one, as soon as it left the bat, oh, yeah. we we could tell it was gone. Oh yeah. And she's smothered at home plate. Oh yeah. I think that brings the count, f uh, score five one. Yep. Frontier. And uh, Josh called uh, the called the game five yeah, two. Yeah, he did. So he's uh, pretty pretty know. spot on. Frontier's kind of on a run here. Yeah. We'll see if uh, Charlotte Dulac can keep it going. Yeah. She's batting uh, cleanup. Another senior for Frontier. Yes. Another power hitter. Her and her sister both have really strong swings. Yeah, I think Lucia that's. Dulet. I think that's why they go 3-4. Yeah. It's quiet. Oh, and that... That's up to right field. It was out. So that was a great uh, great inning for Frontier. Yeah. Is, uh, you had a first pitch home run by uh, Lucia Dillette, and then that one was a hard hit ball by uh, yeah. Charlotte, her sister. So after... Cut by right fielder because we're not a pioneer. Is it the, uh, after the bottom of the fifth? Um, no, top of the sixth. We'll see you in a couple. All right, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Amelia Sobieski joined with Tom Albert. Is now the top of the sixth inning for varsity softball game Frontier versus Pioneer. Frontier is leading five to one after a great home run by Lucia Dulet. First pitch is right to first base when Jillian Appenell and she tags her out. <laughs> That's <laughs> some good sportsmanship there. <laughs> and the batter was number four, Haley Hawhey, center fielder for Pioneer. Now you have uh, number 11, uh, Kenzie, Kenzie Gibson. Gibson, the cat catcher? Yep. And front here is one quick out, two more to go. First pitch will be a high ball. Uh, second pitch. <laughs> oh, it'll be called a strike. That was a good ball. Count is now one and one. I have no runners on base. Oh, strong hit. It'll go right in the hands of center fielder, number 15, Delaney Fifield. Now it's a very quick two outs for Frontier. Now we have the third batter, number three, Sophia Holden, who's the pitcher for Pioneer. Now two outs. 
See if Pioneer can get any runs in these last two innings. Front Frontier's up five to one. The uh, first one we call a strike. Counts 0 and 1. And great pitching by Olivia D in this game. He's doing a really good job. Yeah, other than that uh, second inning, which I keep going back to. <laughs> yeah. It's that controversial call. I just. Can't get past it, can you? No. All right, and that other pitch will be a tip foul. Just cut a little under the ball. If it was, uh, if it was my call. Well, <laughs> too bad you're not <laughs> yeah, I know. an umpire right now. It's all right. Be a low ball. Just go ask him to switch. So much nice to commentate. Is uh seven? I don't know. Oof. Another foul ball undercut. One thing is I find, uh, as I've commentated some baseball games mm -hmm. this year, um, is Tyler Bernoski. And Olivia Dean are very alike when they pitch. Oh, really? The the longer the game goes on, the better they pitch. Oh, I mean that's a very good tree, I guess. Oh. Strike three, and very quick. Inning. Yeah, just like I was saying. Anyhow, so uh, we go do the uh, bottom of the six. I think so. Um, yeah. That was pretty quick. Top of six. Yeah. So uh, and we'll, we'll see you guys in a couple. Hi and welcome back. Hi and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I am your host Tom Albert, joined with Amelia Sobieski, Josh Levine, Eric Eckel, Cheryl, and producer uh, Kevin Murphy. So uh, the whole FCAT crew, minus Megan Self. Um, and did you say Josh? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Speedy. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going too um, fast. Yeah, I speak pretty fast sometimes, or slow. I'm one of the two. Up to bat is number nine, Olivia Dean, pitcher for Frontier. Yeah, and she's had a couple uh, couple good hits in yeah. this game. And see, I remember uh, Savannah Upton pinch running, and they had that suicide yeah. squeeze where they double played. Yeah, that was a little tough. Yeah. You can't go back, but yeah. one thing I think what uh, they'll talk about after this game is... Oh, and that's hard hit hit to left field. That'll be out. So she's pitching phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And she's had some good hits. Yeah, she's definitely had some good hits. It was a good out by left fielder number 20, Laura Collar, Pioneer. So unless uh, in the top of the seventh, Pioneer can have a top of the seventh rally. Yeah. Uh, Frontier is leading this game 5-1. Uh, to one. It looks like that will be on the sideline coming towards oh, us. Foul ball. Good effort, though, by uh, number, number nine. Yeah. The bat, number 15, Delaney, Fifield. She's, uh, once again, in the eighth grader for yeah. Frontier. I believe. Eighth grader first one. I think well, I think technically now that the school year is almost over. Eh. No, not for them yet. For us. I mean, they had a half day today, so. We got, like, a week, though. Anyways. <laughs> uh, last one was called a strike. <laughs> As you can see, I am uh, I'm very laid back today because I, <laughs> <laughs> I was at the beach. <laughs> and they uh, also, one thing to look forward to is uh, they have another half day. Yeah, the heat. Gosh. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, yeah. it's hot. They can't have something about fans. They can only have air blowing out of the room. They can't have it blowing in. It's back the end has to be flowing. What? <laughs> the fan has <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Cheryl's trying to tell me. I'm trying to say it. And I just don't. I can't. I can't. The fan <laughs> has to be facing the outside, not blowing there in. So. Yeah, it's. it's I don't know. That's that's. Uh, oh, and then the. <laughs> hey, that won't draw. Oh. So Delaney Feefield, Fifield, uh, will reach on a good yeah. hit. Well, that's a good effort though by shortstop for Pioneer, 15. Oh, I thought it was the second baseman. I don't know. No, that was a shortstop tried to come over, and she overplayed it. I think uh, one thing you'll that's interesting is if, if they played one step in, I think they could have had that play. Yeah. But um, anyways. I think they try to play back because Delaney's a good hitter, so. Yeah. Better hitters, they play a little farther back, and not as strong hitters, they tend to go in. Well, if they're bunting, and they go in. 
one thing about this Frontier team is you go down the order and there isn't mm -hmm. one bad no. one bad player. Oh. And they look, look at that. And that's a good call there. Oh, is she safe? Yeah, great base running. Yeah. Um and I think she'll call time. And she does to wipe off the that bag. Good hit by number eighteen, Ashley Taylor. She's also eighth grade? Is she freshman? I don't think she's eighth grade. I think she might, she might be a freshman. I, I but I mean, these are young batters, and they're doing really well on the varsity team. So. Yeah, and so now you have uh, number 16, Jillian Appenell. Is she a sophomore? Uh, yes. Yeah. And that oh, one is a hard hit hard fly hard ball. Hit. I don't know if they'll be able to. Oh, oh and it's dropped. But it, it was in an outfield, so but they'll call it an infied, infield fly. Wait. I, I think that's that's definitely an interesting call. And Thumb oh, kind of waves it off. that rule. I, I, it, it touched the outfield. I think it's because off the bat, since there's a runner at first and second. Huh. And there we go. Uh, so I coach. Did, wow. Yeah. So if, if there's runners on, if there was no runner on first base, the infield fly rule does not. I know for oh, baseball, right, right, right. it does not apply. Yes. But since there was a runner at first and second. Okay. Well, now let's see if number eight, Michaela Santos. Do anything with these runners on first and second. I believe there's two outs now. It is the top of the seventh. Frontier's leading five to one. Yeah, so I, I think uh, Olivia Dean let off the inning on that. She shows bunt. Yep. So oh. Delaney will take off Steel. the third oh. and she'll be called out. So that will end the inning on a iffy uh, yeah. base base running, but um. Hey, that's a uh, heads up play there if you're it's the good catcher. Good defense by Pioneer. Yeah, so I think we will go to the final three outs of the game unless they can score four runs. Yeah, if they can if they can score, then this is our last chance. Yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. So now uh, Frontier takes the takes the field and we will be right back. Alright, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Televisions. Varsity softball game, Frontier versus Pioneer. We're at the top of the seventh inning. We got Pioneer up to bat. Score is five to one. So if Pioneer can get any runs in here, maybe four, five, might pull off the win, but yeah, you'd we'll see. It's our last chance. Yeah. Oh, looks like Ooh. we have a new pitcher for Frontier. And Man, wow. First pitch will be. So that's that's an interesting play there yeah. as um you have a nine reversed. Well it's ground ball to third. Right to first. You got a new pitcher for Frontier, number six, Savannah Upton. First pitch was straight out. Yeah, and like uh, we were talking about earlier in the game, um, sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch. Yeah. But when you put in your closer, uh, I would say not swing at the first pitch yeah. because it's a new pitcher. Yeah. And then the first two pitches for this batter were high balls. So, so if, if Frontier can pull off... Um, the win with Ooh. What was that? I think that was a strike there. But, oh, um, yeah, yeah. Can't so go back on that. Counts 3-0 and oh now. Oh, Ooh. strike. Count is 3-1. and one. With a period on that. You yeah. Know, that was a... 3-1. and one. Last strike. Oh. oh. She'll be walked. Count 4-1. So that's one thing with closers is usually they have a walk with a new yeah. pitcher because it's like you're starting the game over again. Exactly, yeah. So, uh... Well, Savannah's throwing some good pitches, so... Yeah, definitely is. And, you know, Olivia, pitch, if they, she will get the win on, and Savannah will get the save yeah. if Frontier pulls it off. Exactly. Calling it now. Oh, either I way. They, I think they will. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, the batter is number 32. Ooh. Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Looks like the count is now 2 and 0, I think. 2 and 0. And Avery Johnson is the. Uh, they're at the end of the order. Um, yep. She's the uh, seventh batter. The Savannah throws a strike. So you have a man <laughs> who has walked. It went first pitch out. Um, and then walk, and now you have this, and Foul ball. great way to protect the plate. That one rolls over to the tree. She now has two strikes on her. Yeah, Savannah's throwing some heat, mm -hmm. as it is very 
Hot day. <laughs> Good joke. <sighs> I'm still at the beach. Oh, it's high ball again. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was definitely good. Yeah. I haven't seen any of that today. No. And no one, no throwdowns to second, I don't think. But the throwdown. Yeah, I don't think so. No. But there's yeah. there's been a throwdown to third. Yes. Oh. This is this is a good battle if you're Johnson yeah. here. This fan is throwing some good pitches. He's trying to connect with them, but yeah, and they're all off. And they're all right around the plate. Yeah. Because if they're anything close, um, they're, they're swinging. Yeah. Like this ump has a bigger sh strike box. Oh my gosh. Another you know, foul. Staying in there. Spanish throwing some good pitches. We should have kept track. This is the longest battle of the game. You know, at yeah, bat. Yeah, definitely. And that that shows uh, effort from Pioneer. That's they're not backing down. Yeah. Easy. And that one's high. Oh. So she'll take your base. Mm -hmm. And now you have something brewing oh for yeah. uh, Pioneer. Maybe Joss was right with the 5 2 call. <laughs> Never know. We'll just have to wait and see. There is yeah. only one out. One out, and there's one on first and second. Yeah. I think what you do here in this situation, you can't bunt, mm -hmm. but you may want to call a hit and run here because yeah. then you have, you have a chance to score two runs instead of one. Yeah. First pitch is called a strike. I mean, I don't know how fast um, Avery Johnson is, but mm -hmm. we'll just have to wait and see. What happens? Oh, Hard ground ball to pitcher. That was a great catch by Savannah. And throw it out to first. That was now two outs. We need one more out to end the game. So uh, for Savannah to get no earned runs, yeah, they need to get this last out. And we'll see if Josh is, is actually right. You know. <laughs> and yeah, we got to run on second and third. This is where you. Uh, oh, low, low ball. that was pretty close. That was a good pitch. Yeah, um, it was a little a little low. So I think that's why I called her ball, but yeah. it was close. A good eye, good eye. Counts one and zero. Oh, high Ooh. strike. Counts one and one. Right back. So. Oh yeah. So, with two outs, the count's one and one. This could be the last up out of the game. We'll have to see. That one's high. You don't want to walk the. You don't no. want to walk the batter here because. Base is loaded. Yeah. And then next next pitch is your next batter. Crucial. That will tip. I will say this though, Front, the Pioneer. If they had one more good inning. Mm. Which, unless they can do something here with two outs, and it, they, you know, yeah. to be fair, them they they've fought very hard. Oh, definitely, strong. yeah. If they could, if they could get a homer here, that mm. would, that's what they need. Well, I mean, yeah, every team needs those, but and oh, and oh no, ball four. Uh, it'll be a walk. So the base is loaded <sighs> with two outs. There's there's nothing more prep. <laughs> um. So I think CC Green will uh, go out and talk and to her. And we are at the top of the batting order for Frontier. Oh, and man. And there is a timeout now. And the tying run is at the plate. Yes. Oh, man. Real nail biter. <laughs> Two outs. Two outs. We got number 17, Charlotte Collar. First baseman for Pioneer up to bat. Top of the batting order. We got Frontier. They have bases loaded. And honestly, a smart call there just to go bring in your team, give yeah. them a pep talk. Yeah. And I mean, they, they need one out. That's two outs, so they need one out. Yeah, th and they got two quick outs. There yeah. was a, an out on that first pitch, a walk, and then another out Yeah. Um, with a, another base runner there. So mm -hmm. Pioneer not backing down easy. And we'll oh, have no. with the tying run at the plate, so you have to think um, you're swinging for contact mm -hmm. here. You're yeah. not swinging for the fences. You're swinging for contact. Yeah. Because you want to keep anything to get that one run in. Yep. But if they get an out and they get a run in, the run won't count. So. In top of the order, number. Number seventeen. Uh, Charlotte Collar. Oh, and it's the oh. <laughs> I don't know if that was meant to happen or. Yeah. It was that was definitely interesting. Yeah, I think they're trying to get the runner out at second. Yeah. 
maybe she wasn't paying attention or something. That maybe that's what they talked mm. about in the yeah. And the uh, yeah, she's kind of walking. The runner on seconds walking back, so I think they're trying to just catch her off guard. Yeah, I think that's what uh, the bench may have picked yeah. up on. Oh, and it's swung. Oh. And a oh, great play there great by Charlotte. Catch. Charlotte Duet, number 13, with a great catch to end the game. Frontier won 5-1 to one at the top of the seventh. So, uh, honestly, an all-around great game there uh, by Frontier and Pioneer. And to be fair to Pioneer, they didn't go down no. easy. They had a good last at-bat. They got three runners on the bases. Two out, so it was kind of stressful, but Frontier pulled it off. Scored yeah, five to one. And I think uh, two things to look at this game take away is uh, some great defense plays by uh, shortstop and some good outfield catches for Frontier. Oh, definitely. Um, great pitching for both teams as well. And if I have this correct, I have three strikeouts, uh, Macy Ring with a hit and RBI. Um, Lucia Dillette with a that home run. Yeah, they're really good home run. Um, and other than that, it's been a it's been a pleasure and an all-out great win for Frontier. And we will see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs>